Knoyuak Ashavak. Knoyuak Ashavak is a First Nations Inuit artist. She was born in an igloo in Ir Karasik Camp on South Baffin Island in Northern Canada. She grew up in nature, living a traditional, semi-nomadic hunting lifestyle. Her family lived in igloos and skin tents. As a young adult, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis and had to stay at a hospital for three years. There, she was introduced to arts and crafts. Art gave patients a way to express themselves and the hospital would help them to sell their work so they could have an income. Ashavak created images of the Inuit way of life. Her work included animals and people. Ashavak is one of the most well-known Inuit artists because of her famous print, The Enchanted Owl. It was featured on a postage stamp. Although best known as a graphic artist, she also carved, designed blankets, created a mural, and designed this stained glass window for the chapel of Appleby College in Oakville, Ontario. She loved owls. She created many owl designs. Her owls often had bright, bold feathers and came in many shapes. How are these owls the same? How are these owls different? Sometimes her owls included other animals and people. This piece is called the guardian owl. She once said, there is no word for art. We say it to transfer something from the real to the unreal. I am an owl and I am a happy owl. I like to make people happy and everything happy. I am the light of happiness and I am a dancing owl. Kenyuak Ashavak is an inspiring artist. Let's create our own owls. Today we're going to learn how to draw three different styles of Keno UX uh, owls. So we just have a regular sheet of paper. It can be in either direction. We're not going to draw them very big. We're going to, we're going to just draw them about yay size. So I'm going to first start with an upside down U. And then I'm going to curve out a little bit, but our neck, our owl's head and our owl's neck. Then we're going to curve in and curve in. And let's put on a flat bottom. So that's our basic owl body. Let's put on some eyes. And let's give our eyes an interesting feature. Let's go ahead and do a curve around one and a curve around the other. And then we're gonna connect these two curves with a beak. Let's go ahead and make some owl legs. So we're gonna take and draw two lines down on one side and then make three triangle shapes two lines down and three triangle shapes. Now let's make the beginnings of our wings. We're going to arch out, make a loop, and arch back in. And on our other side we're going to arch out, oh I think I'm going to run out of room, arch out, make a loop. Now she often put very interesting shapes on her owls, and I'm going to show you how to draw one of those kinds of shapes. 
So she draws two lines that are side by side, and then she puts a ball shape on the end. And then she keeps doing that. She'll make two lines side by side with a ball shape. And she decorates her owls with these shapes. And not only does she put them on the head, she also will put them on the wings. So she'll come down, make the ball shape, come down, make the ball shape. So there is one style of owl. Let's try another one now. With this one, we're actually gonna go ahead and make an oval shape. And in that oval, we're gonna put our two eyes. So we have our owl's head. I'm gonna put a circle around and a circle around. And let's add one more circle. And we're gonna join these with a triangle shape, which will make our beak. Now we're gonna make the body. We're gonna come underneath this eye and we're gonna make a big curve shape. It's almost like we have the letter G. You see that? You see our great big G? And then we're gonna take and we're gonna curve back up. And now we're gonna add our wing. So we're gonna come underneath our other eye. We're gonna make a line that almost touches. And then we're gonna put a little triangle twist on top. Now we're gonna add on a rectangle shaped tail. And this time we're gonna do another style of feet. So let's put on a triangle and a triangle shape. And then underneath those triangles, we're gonna put little rainbows. And then some triangle shapes underneath for our toes. Now with this one, I'm gonna show you another style of her feathers. So another way that she does it is big, long loops. And they have a tendency to be a little bit fatter out at the ends. So she puts on big, long loops, almost like big U's. And they curve around the face. And they go onto the body. Now when you get to the tail, let's make some special ones out of the tail. Let's make one that comes up to the sky and comes back down. And we're gonna go underneath that and make another one that goes up to the sky and another one that goes up to the sky. So there is another owl. So now we have two different styles of owls. And I think it would be fun to learn just one more style. So with this style, we're gonna go ahead and just first start with a big upside down U. And then we're gonna drop down just a little ways and draw a line that's angling in on both sides and then put a line to connect them. And now we're gonna make a wing shape that goes up and is a little bit thick. A wing shape that goes up that is a little bit thick. And let's learn a different style of feet. 
So first we make our two lines side by side. And then we're going to put one, two, three toes, but we're going to make a fourth toe that points in. Let's try it on the other side. We make our two lines, we make three toes that point out, and then one toe that points in. Let's add some eyes. We're going to add a circle. Add another circle around it. And then we're going to take and make a loop around and a loop around. And this time let's make a nose that we arch in and we arch in. Actually a beak. Now I'm going to show you one more style of uh, her work or her feathers. So in this style you make two short lines out, you make a circle and then you make two more lines out and another circle. Two lines circle, two lines another circle. You could even out on another circle if you wanted to. You could keep going. So if I wanted to keep going I could even out on more. I'm gonna just do two on mine. And on the feathers, I'm going to take and put my lines going down and then put my circles. And there I have a third style of owl. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get a clean sheet of paper and we're going to start our project. And we're going to be choosing one of our owls to draw large. Now I can choose something from here or I can invent my own owl. So let's go to our next drawing. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and choose my owl, but know for um, this stage of the project you're going to need a pencil, you're going to need a black sharpie marker, and you're going to be using your Crayola markers. You could use a different medium if you want to, but um, I really love using my markers, so I'm going to try to use those. But you could use colored pencils or oil pastels, paint, um, anything you want for your color. So now the first thing I want to pay attention to is what kind of owl I want to draw. Now these were the owls I drew this last time and so I have this as a reference sheet so I can look at it if I want to or I can invent my own owl. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my owl but I want to draw one owl and I'm going to make it big. Okay, so whatever kind of owl you want you're going to go ahead and draw it now and make it big. Once you get your owl drawn, you can add different kinds of designs if you want to. You could do whatever you like to it. And then you're going to go ahead and you're going to outline it with Sharpie marker. Now make sure when you go to do your outlining with Sharpie marker that you take and you put a piece of scratch paper underneath so that you don't um, get marker all over your desk. So I just take and slide a sheet of paper underneath and now I can go ahead and do my Sharpie outlining. All right, so now that I have my um, owl drawn and I have outlined it in my Sharpie marker, now I'm ready to go ahead and take in my markers. Now, one of the things that I really love about her work is how she only uses one or two colors in an art piece. You can use your whole rainbow or you can use just a few. It's up to you, okay? And I'm going to actually use red and orange today. And I want to show you one technique. And you could use this technique or not. It's up to you. Um, but it's a way of blending two colors together. And I'm going to show you in one of the feathers. So how this technique works is I take my lighter color, and orange is my lighter color. Um, it's a little bit lighter than red. And I want my orange to be in the base. So I put my orange partially up um, into my feather. And then I'm going to take my red and mix my red in over the top. 
And right now it still has kind of a hard line, but I want it to be an even blend. So then I take my orange again on top of it, and now it'll blend it. So you can see I have a blend going from a red into an orange. So I could keep doing that if I wanted to all the way around on my feathers. You choose any color you want. Go ahead and take in your colors into all of your feathers. I could keep adding more colors. I could do things in my background, or if I want to leave it just as a very um, simple graphic image, like she left a lot of hers, I could as well. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.